Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about Azure Key Vault and how we can use this Key Vault and what the purpose of using Key Vault. And I will show you like uh, by using Java how we can access this Key Vault. Okay, guys. By Maven project basically. Okay. So let me first clarify what this Azure Key Vault basically. Azure Key Vault in AWS we have like KMS Key Management Service. What KMS used to used same purpose, uh, similar kind of like uh, purpose we can use in uh, Azure like a key vault. Here also we can maintain like certificate secret. OK, guys, so let's show you how we can create. So I have already created one key vault here, so let me show you how we can create. So this is three tabs. Let's select the resource group. I already explained the resource group in my previous session. Something like that. OK, guys. <clears throat> Let's review and this is my keyboard. OK. Let's review. OK, it will take two seconds. So in meantime, let me show you that. Uh, that SDK Azure SDK the document how we can integrate to with the Java. OK, guys, so to integrate Java, basically what we need to do, we need to log in AZ login. AZ login is nothing but like a Azure CLI login. Uh, I have already demonstrated how we can set up Azure uh, CLI in Windows or Linux. OK, guys, so if you not yet watch my that video, please refer that. So if you do this one, once you're done, then what we need to do basically these two dependencies we need to attach or we need to include in our prompt file like uh, Azure uh, in our like Maven prompt file basically. Okay. Since I am going to uh, work with Maven, so form.xml we have to attach this, then we have to build and then we can able to access. So I will show you how we can do. So mainly two dependency, but uh, behind these two dependency, there are multiple dependency. I will show you how if you are not using Maven, right? Apart from uh, Maven, if you are using Ant or any other Gradle or any other building uh, mechanism software, right? So in that case, uh, there are uh, not only these two dependency, there could be multiple dependency we need to add. OK, guys, so. So this resource creation is done. So let me create one secret here. Let me give. Called. OK, something like that. Uh, let's give some value here. Uh, let's create. Here we are not able to create. Why? Because we don't we not yet added that I am role here, right? So once you create the keyboard, right, you should give the I am role. So let me show you that first how we can add. So go to the I am access here and add role here. For this demo, let's give the administrative role to have, do all this thing. OK, and here we have to select I am role is nothing but in AWS what we have like I am like uh, identity access management, right? Similar thing here, identity access management also in AWS in Azure we have like access control. And apart from this in Azure one more uh, like a security level uh, like access control we have like Azure AD. In my uh, previous session, I have already demonstrated how we can use Azure AD. So guys, if you want, you can take a look. So let's select member here. So I have only one member here. Let's select this one. And then review and assign. OK, guys. So it is uh, adding now. Once it is add, then we are good to create the certificate here or secret or key, whatever you want to create. Right. So now let's Cloud Tech Demo, same value, hit it. Then. Now it's created, creation is done. So now let's let me show you that Maven project. So this is the Maven project I have written here. So let me change that keyword name, whatever we have created now. With this name also, I'm going to set one more. Thing. Yeah. And we'll try to fetch that also. What basically I am doing here, let me show you that. This is the key vault name, then key vault URL. 
like URI, URI is nothing but that uh, key vault URI. Uh, so let me show you that also like how basically it looks. So if you go here and if you go over few key vault and go to the URI. Or either JSON or here also you can see that key vault URI, right? So this is the URI and uh, HTTP, then uh, key vault name, then vault dot as same thing. I am constructing my, my, in the, in my Java class also. Okay. Then I am doing uh, taking the cigarette client and uh, cigarette client. Uh, I am passing that key vault URL and here password. How it is getting the password, right? Default Azure credential, which it will take from AZ login, whatever we will do login, AZ login, right? So from there it will take my credential details and then it will try to get that uh, key vault cigarette by using this uh, key vault uh, name and then we can fetch the value. Okay, guys. So. Before that, what I have dependency wise, I have like two dependency here Azure Key Vault Secret and Key Vault Identity. As for this uh, Azure SDK document, right? I have added these two dependency here. So let's build this project. So some of my friend already requested like to for Maven setup also to create some session like how we can set up Maven. Sometimes some people used to get like a ambient command did not found something like that, right? So I have a plan to do that demo also in future like uh, about the Maven. Basically, I have a plan to do like a daily user software demo like Maven, Git, Jenkins, Eclipse, and then uh, uh, that uh, MS Visual Store Studio. Visual Store uh, Studio Code and some Python basic. Okay, guys. In my future, I will do so. Project build is done. So I was uh, talking about right. Uh, in this, I am installing only this, uh, taking these two dependency, right? But apart from these two dependency, there are multiple dependency behind this screen. Let me show you that. So how we can check that? So if you just do MVN dependency tree, right? your dependency so if you do like this we'll came to know like how many dependency jar is there so if you are using uh, app instead of maven right if you are using some other uh, like build sub building mechanism like and those kind of thing right then you have to add this all the jar all the dependence jar you have to add then only it will work otherwise in runtime you will get a lot of compilation error though in that uh, Portal, it's mentioned those those two jar is enough, but uh, in uh, those two jar basically it is pulling uh, some other dependent jar also. If you see right, multiple jar is dependent jar is pulling almost 55 or 56 jar is pulling here. Okay, guys. So I hope this is got clear. Like if uh, any if you get out like which all dependent jar is there in Maven, right? Just release the MVA dependency tree command, then you will get to know these are the dependent jar is there. Okay, guys. So my project build is done. So let me refresh this project. This is going on. So what I am going to do now, I need to do the AZ login, right? Then only that uh, uh, the credential will get, right? So I have already configured here AZ in, in, in this system. So I have already demonstrated like how we can set up the AZ here. Okay, guys, so please refer that. So AZ login. So it is going to here. Let's log in. Once you logged in, now if you see here, now from CLI we can able to access. Let me show you some of the comment as it here. Let me check. Yeah, see we are able to see that what all virtual machine I have right already created in my in my subscription right. So I am able to see those uh, here. Okay, guys. So now let's try to run this project. So uh, I am just fetching and I'm setting also one more uh, new uh, key. So let's see it is creating or not. See now it is uh, I have already created one cigarette and from by programmatical I, I try to create one more cigarette. Right? So and then again I try to fetch right. So it is fetching also. So let's see in the portal is it is created or not. So let me go here. Refresh. Let me see. Uh, two cigarette it should be now manually I have created one and one more it should be there let me see cloud tech demo is created right so like this we can create assign certificate and then key 
and then in that uh, whenever you are creating secret right you have to assign the im role i have already to talk, show you how we can assign the im role and there one more option is there access policy you can create a access policy also for this particular im role. okay guys so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if this is really helpful to you guys please do like share subscribe to my channel that will really inspire to me and it will really support to me and i will see see you guys in my next video chalo bye